This is the first flight of our large quad using 60 millimeter outrunners. Uh, we built this for Jason Desjardins. We've got some uh, camber built into the arms, six degrees. So I'll try to help out with uh, descents, make it a little more stable. But it's a folding unit, so I'm gonna try it out and see what it does. Nice. It's uh, underweight right now. We're only got a, using a, a five cell, five amp pack. It's made to carry up to 10, 10 amps. Bit more weight on it and by the time we get the uh run two batteries in parallel with each other and get the gimbal on it should set really nicely in the air so it's really light right now altitude hold it's an altitude hold it's an altitude hold mode That's the loiter and altitude hold mode, default parameters. It's doing a pretty good loiter. A little bit breezy out here, so you've seen it. This is a loiter, so. I'm gonna make sure we don't get too close to the fence. Like I said, I've got the perimeter set to carry a little bit more of a load, so. Uh, once you put the camera in, we put the Batteries on it, it's gonna hold. Oh, pretty nice. Let's get up off the ground a little bit more. Get back in loiter. Stay away from the fence. It's kind of my test. If you'll stay away from the fence. Not gonna have any problems once you get something in the air, higher altitudes, even if it deviates a meter or two here and there. But it's doing really nicely right now. Like I said, it's it's really light. This is we made this thing to carry some carry some weight, and uh, we're just using a five amp pack. So yeah. I think I could have, the packs, each cell was reading around 4.10 volts each. Could have left it on the charger for a little bit longer, but I didn't. didn't max it out, so. We've got an external LiPo alarm on it, so. Probably just have it around until it starts beeping. See how it kind of cradles when it adjusts? That's, that's pretty good, because it's not over. Uh, it's kind of rocking rather than moving several feet, which is good. At this whole point, we have a gimbal on there. The gimbal will take that out, and like I said, it's really light right now. So it's going to be a little. Uh, you'll see a little more play in the arms on attitude adjustments. Still haven't touched the sticks. There's just a very minimal descent or drift in the uh, altitude hold. Like I said, we're getting it's a little bit breezy back here. We're getting a breeze from coming from behind us. So, and given that breeze, I last looked at the weather before I flew it. It was saying the breeze is around eight ten miles per hour. So, I think we're somewhere around between five and ten maybe. We're getting a pretty pretty good position. It's slowly slowly descending. 
if you notice, the reason why it's descending is I've got the altitude hold set just below mid throttle. I've got the transmitter stick. You hear that beep? That beep means you're at mid throttle. That's where you need to keep it. So I'm going to take it up and I'm going to put it in altitude hold. We're going to put it back, the stick in dead center. Altitude hold, loiter. So now we're dead center on the altitude hold. You see how much it drifts. See, that's really good and tight right there. That's nice. A little bit of rocking. Just like I said, I'd rather a rock. I'd rather rock, you know, 10 degrees or so, but maintain a position rather than you change its attitude, its angle of attack, and move three or four feet just to maintain a position. Should work really nice for you. It's a nice machine though. We put a lot of work into this thing. You won't find uh, anything quite like it. Solid carbon. We use three millimeter plate on top and two two millimeter on the bottom, so it's really rigid. Uh, those tubes, even with that six degrees uh, in the arms, it's solid carbon. We use a plastic carbon reinforced tube insert to get that angle that we molded ourselves. Uh, so it's it's really strong. And it's uh it's, it's nice. Got a bit of a breeze right there. See that kind of it's kind of just kind of like doing a little mini fish bowl, which is fine because it's doing it in position. It's not uh, it's not wandering in doing that. It's, so it's doing what we we wanted to do with the design of the arms. And like I said, we've got it really light right now. Once you put some weight on this, it's it's gonna it's gonna be really nice. It's just uh, it's going to be smooth. But I mean, for default setup, this is uh, this is this is good position. You'll have a lot of room to work with here if you want to if you want to tighten it up more. Just give me a holler and we'll we'll tighten it up. But I don't really think you're going to have to by the time you put uh, uh, all the batteries on it that you you're going to want to carry and, and you gimbal and everything. And, uh, we've got the FPV module, the transmitter, and all that stuff set up and ready to mount on the back back tray so we out away from the frame so you're gonna notice uh, one more thing you're gonna notice uh, It's gonna, it's gonna be, a little, it's gonna move around a little bit more when it's this light and there's breezes. Cause like I said, I mean, this thing, it actually hovers at about a little over 40% throttle. Like I said, this is a five amp pack. It's not even really fully charged. You can run both of these packs in parallel, and you shouldn't have any problem getting long flight times. I'm gonna bring it back. I'll end up coming back on its own. But you know, when you get this thing 30 or 40 feet in the air, uh, even if over a five minute period it drifts a couple of meters, <laughs> drifts a couple of meters, Altitude hold, stabilized. you'll notice once you start, it starts getting really close to the ground, the, the props, the thrust can't break through grip and it'll get a little more wobbly. But it's stabilized mode right now and it's, uh, See how smooth it is. And really quiet. So, what do you think, Jimmy? Silence a little bit.
and don't put your retracts on yet. Use these gear, this gear that I'm giving you, it's about a $100 set of landing gear. Use these gears for your first several flights. Uh, you can push your gimbal way out front on those rails, so you're not going to worry about getting uh, skids and stuff and props in your shots. Remember the props are angled up and the skids are really low. You can put your camera way out front and you're going to have a wide viewing angle. Okay. Use this, uh, the gear that's attached to you right now for your initial flights. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't even really care for retracts. It's just more weight, uses more power, and it just introduces the more greater chance of uh, uh, mechanical error and failure.